more than a year of drafting, and city leaders are still considering last-minute tweaks to a new land development code before deciding how they feel about it. Code Next represents the first overhaul of the code in 30 years. And supporters say we've got to build smarter. Opponents worry too many changes will ruin long-established Austin neighborhoods. KXA is Phil Praise in live at City Hall to tell us about the challenges that remain. Phil? Well, Robert, the Planning Commission is meeting right behind me in the Austin City Council Chambers tonight. Right, this is near the end of the process. That commission will make recommendations to vote for council to vote up or down. Now, we learned that as late as last week, the commission was reaching out to opponents of the plan, the neighborhood associations, to see what kind of changes they want to see. Mike Levine from the Crestview Neighborhood Association simply doesn't trust the city. They've changed the words enough so that the mayor and people can go out and say, oh no, we've left you alone. Just don't look too closely at it. Even though the neighborhood associations won a big victory when the city scrapped a broad upzoning across town, he feels the planning commission is rushing its part of the process while making changes on the fly. Supporters of Code Next say groups like his don't want to do anything new. And I asked him if that's true. Neighborhoods aren't saying that the code is perfect as it is now. What we're saying is we have a code that we could fix, but we don't need an entirely new code that eliminates your entire zoning. Supporters say it's simple supply and demand, and there isn't enough housing supply. A lot of the changes we made were directly based on feedback we heard from the community. City leaders and staff say there's still a chance for public input when it comes before city council, but the final product is on track to be voted on by the end of the summer. A group of, of experts and community members who have listened to the community, have worked with them, and are working further to help council understand the, the positions that they hold. And this fight between the city and the neighborhood associations is far from over. There's a petition to take whatever the final product is of Code Next and put it on the ballot for voters to approve. That might not be legal, so expect lawsuits to fly in the months ahead. And then, of course, there are those city elections in November where city council stances on Code Next will be a campaign issue. Supporters of the plan say the city has to do something. Live at City Hall, Phil Prazen, KXAN News. The Planning and Zoning Commission is meeting right now to decide whether or not to recommend code next to the City Council. We'll keep you posted with what they decide tonight here on KXAN News and online at KXAN.com.